Okay, so we're down at Bird's Green. Um, we're down here for the weekend. We're doing the uh, Total Tackle Show. Um, we've had a successful day. And um, whilst all the other carp celebrities are over there um, feasting and socialising, in typical Christian style, we're actually fishing. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you two very easy um, secrets and tips that could give you the edge on a highly pressured water like this. So. Nothing rocket science here, bit of tubing, lead clip and your lead. First thing we're going to do is about line concealment. Big mistake on day ticket fisheries is that the line concealment is not really thought about at all and people are fishing with either slack lines, um, tight lines or semi slack lines but no one's really pinning the line down. Now we know that with tungsten tubing this part of the line is down so the last sort of 18 20 inches is down what we're going to show you now is how to conceal this line and guarantee that this is sinking and um, undetectable so into the little tackle bag and we got heavy metal unlike other putties it's not shiny it's full of tungsten and it's very very heavy there's the plug put that back and what we do is we just get the heavy metal and you have to work with it so we're putting it between our fingers and we're pulling it apart and what that does it's like a explosion of tungsten in there and they're moving it around and it's making it a little bit sticky so the more you work it the more sticky it gets and what we do is we break a little bit off stick that on our plastic box so we don't lose it and then we get our little bit of putty we come up a few inches from the tubing and we just press it onto the line and in a motion we just roll it onto the line like that. Now this is where we get creative. We just work that putty onto the line and as you can see it's starting now to stretch and expand and it's clinging to the line. The reason it clings to the line is that this is just such a good putty and it doesn't slide up the line at all and here we are as you can see it's as easy as that and suddenly we've applied a very thin coating of heavy metal to our line then we just pull it off like that and now we can work it down and we can virtually get it so it's as thin as the line it's just sort of coating the line and what that's going to do is that's going to go into the lake onto the bottom and sink and we're going to repeat this process because we want to sink the last few yards of line, not just the 20 inches with the um, putty, with the tubing rather. Again, we've put it on. We then roll it. So there it is, it's secure now. And now again, we work the process. There we go. We're just working it, keeping the line tight. And this time we're going to put a little bit on here, keeping a gap between the line. So there we are, another little bit on the line. So that's all going to like now lay flat. We then get the final piece. Again, press it onto the line, secure it to the line, and now we work it onto the line. And as you can see, we're stretching it and moulding it all around the line. It only takes a few minutes, it's not a long process, but the extra concealment it gives can really give you an edge on these day ticket waters that are totally underrated by many anglers because they see carp anglers every single day, all fishing different styles, different tactics and the fish are totally totally fish for all the time so there we've got the heavy metal applied in three stages now if you can imagine that my legs are the lake bottom 
we can see that that sinks, we know that. We then do that with the line, and as you can see, the heavy metal and the line will lay on the bottom like that, sunk. So we've added another sort of foot to the anti-tangle tubing. Now, the next secret tip we're going to give you is the lead clip. 90% of anglers use the lead clip, especially on day ticket waters. So we've put our lead clip on and it looks just like anybody other's setup. There's the ring from the ring swivel, there's the lead clip, there's the towel rubber, there's the lead, there's the tubing. Now, on many day ticket waters, the fish see this day in, day out. They pick up the bait, they then use that to pivot and we know and we've, we've discovered that they then shed the hook by using the lead to do that. Here's the trick. When the fish picks up this um, particular bait, the line comes out. Because what we've done is we've replaced a size 8 ring swivel, very, very simply, with a size 11 ring swivel. For those of you out there, the size 11 ring swivel is what a lot of people use for chod rigs on the helicopter. So by scaling down the size of the swivel, we then allow for a little bit of running tension there that will fall the carp. So there you go, two really easy, simple to do, but can make the world of difference when visiting a fantastic fishery such as Birds Green. Thank you very much.